So next waveform that I'm going to draw is x of n into p of n. So I'll simply multiply x of n with p of n. When I do that, let's see what are we going to get. So when you multiply, only when the p of n becomes 1, you will read the sample from x of n. So the very first sample I'll read from x of n will be the sample at n equal to 0. The remaining two samples will be multiplied to 0 because p of n is equal to 0. The sample at 3 will be multiplied with 1. So I'll read the sample at 3 also. So let me also name all the samples. This was sample S1. This was sample S4. The next sample I'm going to read will be at n equal to 6 because that's when p of n also becomes 1. An intermediate two samples will be 0. I'll then read sample at 9. Then I'll read sample at 12. You can see sample at 12 is negative. So I'll read negative sample so the samples were s7 this was s10 and this was s13 and in between all the samples have become zero so we have achieved the very first step of removing the unwanted samples we have removed all the unwanted samples we have just kept the samples that we require in by decimator signal so this is the multiplication of x of n and p of n. You can see we have kept the samples s1, s4, s7, s10 and s13. But this is still not y of n. This is still not my actual signal because I don't just want to make this unwanted sample zeros. I want to remove them completely. So after s1, I should immediately see s4 and not see any zeros. And that's what we do in this final signal y of n. So final signal y of n will be nothing but if I name this signal as let's say x dash of n, then we are going to now scale down x dash of n, we will generate x of 3n. So what will be x dash of 3n? Divide this time axis by 3. 0 by 3 will give me 0 and hence it will become a valid sample. So first valid sample comes here. 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 are not integers, so I will not consider them. The next sample will be 3 by 3, which will be n equal to 1. So n equal to 0, n equal to 1. I've read the two samples, s1, s4. Basically, I'm performing down scaling operation. The next sample will be 4 by 3 and 5 by 3, which will be 0. 6 by 3 will be equal to 2. So the next sample will come here. And this is for n equal to 2. After that, the next sample will be 7 by 3, 8 by 3 are not integers, so we'll not consider them. 9 by 3 is equal to 3, so the next sample will be S10 and S10 will be shown somewhere here at n equal to 3. So after S4, we have taken S7, S10 and we'll just show one last sample that will be at n equal to 4 and that sample will be uh, nothing but S13. So S13 will occur like this. So you can see this is the signal that I was looking for. This is my y of n and it is nothing but the decimated version of uh, x of n. So it is my x of n which is downscaled by 3 and this is what we get. Let us now do the mathematical analysis of this uh, time domain signals. We have to mainly relate the frequency spectrum of the original signal and the frequency spectrum of y of n which is a decimated version please note that the original sample dot rate was fx the sample rate of this new signal y of n is fy and fy is nothing but fx divided by 3 the original sample rate is divided by 3 and this exactly is the process of decimation for us so let's now go through the uh, frequency domain calculations, we will do a small mathematical analysis. 